My name is Jane Browning, and my senior year of college started with a sandwich and will end with a grade. While on vacation this past summer, I came across a local legend on the menu of a restaurant in the Chesapeake area. The sandwich that caught my eye was named the Last American Pirate Sandwich. The sandwich was complete with crab, mayo, lettuce, tomato, pepper, lemon juice, and was packed between two pieces of brochet. I was intrigued, possibly because I was extremely hungry, or it could have been that my secret love of pirates had just kicked in, but I wanted to know more. And while I was eating away at this yummy masterpiece, I realized that my senior seminar class was coming up this fall, and the topic was local Virginia history. And so I decided to dig into this local legend from Gloucester head first. Who was this man? What was his name? Where was he from? Why was he pirating? And probably most importantly, how did he become a local legend that was immortalized in a sandwich? I started my research in town asking the locals if they had ever heard of a pirate in the area. And in addition to putting up flyers and really looking for any leads that would point to a name or story or anything at all that could help me, I found myself extremely stuck and without any help. The locals kept telling me that this was just, just a legend, that the locals didn't take it seriously. It was for tourism only. And honestly, I was ready to give up. Finally, a local contacted me and gave me the name Edward Owens. And a time period, the late 19th century, actually, right after the economic crisis of 1873. It was perfect, because at this point, I had done about a month's worth of work that was producing nothing but dead ends. And I took the name and ran, diving into research headfirst and looking for anything to go with this name, anything about pirating during the time, or anything about crime at all. After about a million rolls of microfilm and a serious attempt to make myself go colorblind, I came to find newspaper articles of local people being robbed on the seas. Through the Historical Society, I was able to uncover leads, and eventually I was contacted by a relative of Edward Owens. Keeping his name to myself because he didn't want to be known, Owens', sh Owens relative showed me that Owens had left a last will and testament that detailed his crimes and the shame that he felt for committing them. Then he told me where Owens had lived and where part of the family was laid to rest. After all my research, I had learned a lot about the last American pirate. His story was interesting and one that many people nowadays would be able to understand. His story was one of desperation. Edward Owens was a man that fell on hard times after the crisis of 1873 and had turned to a life of crime on the high seas of the Chesapeake to try to turn his luck around. He pirated on the border between Maryland and Virginia, and I came to find that he operated off of Watts Island, away from where he wouldn't, away from people, and away from where he lived, so he wouldn't co attract too much attention. Edward Owens was a peaceful pirate, never committing any acts of violence, or at least never committing any acts of recorded violence, and only striking fear through the use of a punt gun. And once the economic situation settled down in the U.S., he returned to a normal life. He grew to be an old man and died of old age, and the only thing that remains of this local legend is a sandwich. <laughs>